All right, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Um, first of all, I wanted to uh, just this is a quick tip to let um for anybody going out there on the street to identify blacks, uh, ben, uh, Benjamites, you know, or Judites, Benjamites, and some of the ten tribes, you know. And but I'm gonna show you. The information in this book, maybe I haven't got to this page just to properly identify. So, this book is called From Babylon and Timbuktu, you know. Um, so, but I'm going to give y'all what, you know, what proves. Like, say, if you're talking to a Benjamite or something, and they don't know that they Israel, you know, you can pull, pull this out. All right. This is page 123 of the book. Which I'm pretty sure y'all heard of, called Nature Knows No Color Line by J.A. Rogers, right? And it reads this Watts says, An interesting gradation of all shades down to the black, or down to a black, the black shade, is, is exhibited by the Jews. Check that out. Especially dark were the Jews of Spain and Portugal, right? So don't let anybody lie to you and try to make it up like. The Jews of Spain and Portugal were white. The Jews, the Portuguese Jews were very dark, says Pritchard. The Dutch, the Dutch, the Duchess de Abrantes, wife of Napoleon's ambassador to Portugal, said that the Jew, the Negro, and the Portuguese could be seen in a single person. They all looked the same. So, so that means the Jews were black, right? So dark were the Jews especially of Portugal and southern Spain, that many whites thought all Jews were black or dark. This belief, said Borbat, shows what an error most people are in. Why? Since he says the German Jews, as for example, those of Prague, are as white as most of their German countrymen. Because those are called uh, those German Jews are called Ashkenazi Jews and they're not the real Jews. You can get information about that in Revelation two and nine before you go to any extra biblical book, and you can read that in the book called the Thirteenth Tribe and um, the Invention of the Jewish People. Many of the Jews who were banished from Portugal by John the Second, right? By John the Second. Banished by John II, settled in the West Indies, right? John Bigelow, who visited Jamaica in 1850, saw the descendants of these Jews and says they were Neroy, right? So if you got to prove to any Benjamite that they are um, a Benjamite or a Jew, come from the Southern tribe or the Southern uh, North, the Southern Kingdom. This book has it in there, right? So let's move on. And this is what you link. Um, this is a good link up, right? Let's link that up. Because now, now that we know that the Jews of southern Spain and Portugal were especially dark, let's read this. The expulsion of the Jews from Spain and Portugal. That's what this is titled. It was 1492 when the slave trade was about to start. In January 2nd, when the Moorish stronghold of Granada surrendered to the armies of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Moorish means black. For the first time since the year 711, cause since that's when we came, all of Spain was in Christian hands because we invaded in the year 711 AD and took Gibraltar, formerly known as Kelp before we came and took it, or the Pillar of Hercules. The decree of the decree to expel the Jews from Spain was signed on March 31st in one of the corridors, a corridor in one of the corridors, a cor corridors is a hall with a, um, a lot of doors in it, a long hall with many doors. In one of the corridors of the great Alhambra, the building, and it tells you the palace of the Moorish kings of Granada, the reason given for the expulsion of the Jews was that it was thought they corrupted the Morenos. What are the Morenos? Jews converted to Christianity. They thought we corrupted them. How? By privately encouraging them in disloyalty to Christianity. That which has been is now, 
and that which to be hath already been, and God requires that which is past. Only this time we're not privately doing anything. We're on those street corners and everybody's seeing us. The ultimatum given to the Jews expired August first, August first, sorry, fourteen ninety two. But the last group of Jews did not leave until August second, fourteen ninety two. This date is of strange co coincidence. That date was the ninth of Ab, the fast day, which is reminiscent of the destruction of the first and second temples. Professor Alan H. Godby says that the reign of the last Jewish king of Ghana, which is a, a um a, a allotment of land in Africa, terminated in fourteen ninety two. So the last Jewish king of Ghana terminated in fourteen ninety two, right? In order to satisfy Queen Isabella of Spain, King Manuel of Portugal promulgated or spread abroad a royal decree to expel the Jews and Moors from its country in 1496. Not all Jews are Moors, but more, but um, no, I mean, not all Moors are Jews, but all Jews at this time were Moors. The Jews who were. Um, Keep going. Page eighteen. The Jews who were ah, my bad. The Jews who were expelled from Spain and Portugal were scattered throughout the Mediterranean coast. It is estimated that over one hundred thousand Jews departed from Spain and Portugal during the persecutions and the expulsion. Some of these Jews, some of these Jews, went to Northern Europe, Italy, and Turkey, and totally or Asia Minor. But most of them were to, but most of them went to Muslim countries of northern and western Africa, which is where they got us from, Western Africa. There, black Jews would naturally go to there, where in Africa, these these black Jews. It says these. My bad, it doesn't say there. It says these black Jews would naturally go to African countries. Most of all because of less persecution and they could disguise themselves easily among the Jews. Now it says less persecution, not no persecution. That's why they get us with that on oh, the African sold you into slavery. No, right? The, well, the African sold African into slavery. That's what they said. No, the African sold Israelites, Jews into slavery, right? And now let's go down. Because remember, we read John 2nd and nature knows no color line. So let's get, um, let's intersect that with this book or link that up. During the reign of King jo Joa the second or John second, seven hundred black Hebrew children were ruthlessly taken away from their parents in Portugal and transported to the island of Santon, off the west coast of Africa is where Santon is. This island is located near Nigeria, Cameroon, and Gabon. Alan H. Godby says that the Portuguese founded the island of Santon. In 1471, in the year 1484, King John II of Portugal, who reigned from 1481 to 1495, offered the Jews of his kingdom the choice of baptism or settling at Santon. Multitudes of Jews were sent to this island during the reign of King John II, meaning they didn't accept that baptism. These Jews, Judios, as the Portuguese called them, are serious reserved and wealthy holding most of the trade in their hands it's probably why they were sold right to the white man now let's get how to prove the ten tribes or at least the aztecs but this is for the ten tribes too um page 187 of this book of that let me get it okay okay here we go page 87 of the book called Lost Tribes and Promised Lands, Origins of American Racism by Ronald Sanders, a compelling an analysis of facts, beliefs, legends, superstitions, and the ways in which they interact, in, interacted to shape American racial history. So let's read this. Um, but even if, if we set the question of this origin aside, Duren's work suggested that he viewed the Indian destiny from a perspective influenced by the new Christian experience of his time. Whether he was conscious of this or not, for with increasing frequency and conviction, Duran came to 
C. Elements of a Judaic character in the old Aztec religion. Like what? Let's read. At first, this tendency appears only as a fervent search for Jewish for Jewish analogies provoked by Aztec customs such as the eating of only unleavened bread on certain days of the year, which is what you call the Passover, right? The prohibition of drinking liquids after the eating of certain ritual foods and the use of baths for purification, right? You read that all in the Bible, they, and they, all throughout the Bible, they, and the Levites sanctified themselves. In time, this began to seem to Duran like overwhelming evidence that the Indians are indeed descended from the lost tribes of Israel, right? So that's what I got for y'all to, 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 you know, to let y'all know. I hope that wasn't uh, that recorded wrong, you know. Anyway, anyway, but uh, I hope that came in clear. And if it, you know, just switch the camera around if it, you know, flopped over. But these books is good for you to, you know, if y'all on the street teaching, um, to let people, let the tribes know who they are. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of God, meaning He exists. By Hashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means um, He delivers or He saves. So come save us, you know. Come save Yasharala and raise us up. Kwam Yasharala Israel. All praise to the Most High, and may the Most High seal His elect. Right? I had the camera all down for that, but anyway. All right, Shalom Israel.